Hello friends, welcome to the world of recipes. I am Vaishali and today I will be showing you how to make Pav Bhaji. Pav Bhaji is India's famous street food. It's a combination of many veggies. So let's see what all ingredients we need to make Pav Bhaji. Potato around half kg cut into pieces like this. It's peeled and cut into pieces. Cauliflower washed and cut into pieces. It's around 250 grams or a small floret. Cabbage around 200 grams chopped. Tomato around 3 numbers medium size or 250 grams. 1 green capsicum cut into bite sized pieces. Peas around half cup. I am using frozen peas. You can use fresh peas as well. 2 medium sized onions finely chopped. Ginger garlic paste about 1.5 tablespoon, oil 2 tablespoon, butter as per requirement, red chilli powder as per your taste, salt as per your taste and pav bhaji masala about 2 tablespoon and of course pav to enjoy this yummy pav bhaji. In this combination you can add some carrots as well, it will sweeten the taste of this pav bhaji but uh, personally I don't like it so I am not using it today. Now let's start with the recipe. First we need to steam this potato, cauliflower and cabbage. We can steam it separately or we can combine it and steam it. Now I am going to pressure cook it for 3 to 4 vessels in a pressure cooker. Now these vegetables are steamed properly. You can check with the potato paste. It should be very soft to press. Now let's make pav bhaji. Add oil to the pan. Along with oil, you can add a little bit of butter to give that typical taste of pav bhaji. Once this oil is hot, add onions. Let the onions turn golden brown. Now these onions are slightly brown. Add ginger garlic paste to it. Let it cook for one or two minutes. Now this ginger garlic paste is done. Now add tomatoes. Now cook the tomato till it is completely soft. Now these tomatoes are completely soft. You cannot see the pieces of tomatoes. It's all pureed now. Now add the spices, red chilli powder, salt and pav bhaji masala all together. Let it cook for one minute. Now add the capsicum. 
Now add capsicum. We don't need to cook this capsicum because we need to maintain its crunchiness. Add peas. As we are using frozen peas, so we don't need to add, cook them also. Now we are going to add this steamed vegetables. This is already very soft. You can just press it with a power bar to press it. Or the Let it cook for one or two minutes. Now this bhaji is almost ready. We need to add chunk of butter on top. That is the key ingredient of pa bhaji. Now this bhaji is ready. Now let's prepare pav for this. For preparing pav, now tawa is heating. Now just split the pav into two. Apply some butter inside. On In both the sides. Application of butter depends on you. And just roast it. Apply a little butter on the top. Roast the pork from both the sides. Now this pow is ready. Now this pow is ready. Now let's solve the bhaji here. Pow bhaji is ready. Now garnish it with little bit of onions on top and a piece of lemon. Enjoy this yummy pav bhaji with your family and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. For more recipes, keep on watching World of Recipes. Thank you.